Hi, this is Mike Callahan, uh, also known as at Walking River on Twitter. You may have seen some of my videos on Ionic and Electron. I also have a couple of Pluralsight videos. But recently I wanted to try Stencil.js, a new web component framework from the Ionic team. So I went ahead and I found a compass. The compass control was created entirely in CSS and HTML. So what I did is I took the Stencil.js starter, uh, GitHub, and I pasted the CSS right into the uh, SCSS file that they provide out of the box. Not a big CSS guru, so I didn't really play with it much. Um, I fixed a couple of uh, syntax errors that I found. And then I took the HTML and I dropped it right into the render function of the Stencil starter. Once I did that, the only thing left to do was a couple of um, very simple pieces of TypeScript that would allow me to update certain values uh, and bind it to an Angular app. So you can see here I have bearing and heading. Bearing will be the compass direction to a, a, a clue that I'll show you in a moment. And heading is the compass heading of the phone, the device which direction it's facing. The idea is that in this Ionic app that I'm going to show in a minute, the red needle of the compass will always be pointing at the clue. So hopefully that makes a lot of sense, so let's take a look at the app real quick. So I created this little tiny Ionic app that runs on uh, iOS and Android for myself and my kids when we're at the, uh, the Disney theme parks. The idea is that we would be searching the parks for a, an image of some sort. And I wanted to create a hint that would give you rough distance and heading to the clue. So as you can see here, the stencil compass is imported very easily into the Ionic app. And obviously you can't see the device turning, but as I turn it, the red needle spins to maintain its uh, being pointed towards the object, uh, no matter how I turn it. Animation looks pretty good. Um, and you can see I'm about 7,100 meters away from uh, Epcot, which sounds about right. Quite frankly, this only took me a couple of hours to complete. I have been very impressed and pleased with how simple Stencil is to, uh, to work with and how easy it is to take that web component generated and drop it right into an Ionic app and get its uh, properties bound to my Angular component properties. If you're interested in seeing the compass uh, stencil code. You can download it from github.com uh, as you can see here. In the future I might do something a little longer. Uh, in the meantime I do have a couple of Pluralsight videos if you're interested in hearing more about Ionic and also Electron. And you can follow me at Twitter at Walking River. Thanks for watching.